Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel for another unboxing, view and test. Today I have this comparison between the newest 5G SIM router TP-Link Archer NX200 and the TP-Link Deco X50 5G. I have been using the Deco for 15 months now and I have decided to upgrade to the Archer for a faster 5G broadband connection. So we will find out together which is more suitable for you. Starting from the hardware, we can see the Deco it has only one LED indicator. Depending the color, you can check what is the status. The Archer it has six LED indicators. Both routers you can install the SIM card at the bottom here. Ventilation. Same in here. At the top we have the ventilation. The Deco it has a fan inside to cool down the internals. And at the back, let's remove the cover here from the Archer. Both they have uh, external antennas mount. You can install two external antennas for the 4G and 5G LTE network. The reset button it is at this position for the Archer. Reset button it is at the bottom for the Deco. It doesn't have a WPS button, the Deco, the Archer it has here. The Archer equip it with one gigabit one LAN port and two gigabit LAN ports. The Deco includes 2.5G port and two gigabit ports with auto-sensitive one LAN functionality, offering greater flexibility for high-speed wired connections. You can cover on both uh, routers the antennas, the connection for the antennas. The Deco, it doesn't have an on-off switch, but the Archer it has here an on-off switch. I like that. More or less that is uh, the hardware, the design that we can see at each of the router. The Deco it has four LT 5G internal antennas, but the Archer it has eight. That is double the antennas, and both they have uh, two Wi-Fi internal antennas. The power adapter it is the same, 12 volt, two amps for both routers. Both are plug and play. Enjoy 5G network right after inserting a SIM card. At the Deco we have a 5G broadband connection at 3.4 gigabit per second. But at the Archer, we have a powerful broadband connection, 4.67 gigabits per second. At the 4G LTE for the Deco, it is 300 megabits per second, and at the Archer, it is 1.6 gigabits per second. That is more power for the Archer. Definitely, you don't want to miss uh, the video that I made for the Archer down below the description with speed tests. Same and for the Deco, if you decide to have the Deco. Archer NX200 primarily managed via a web-based interface, offering detailed configuration options familiar to traditional router users. With the Archer you have more options from the web browser, you can do the setup and have many settings to adjust to your needs. Compared to the Deco you have less options from the browser, you can do all the settings from the Deco app. The Deco managed via Deco app, offering user-friendly experience with specified setup and management. Ideal for users looking for straightforward control. You can connect up to 128 devices to either router. The Archer NX200 features AX1800 dual band Wi-Fi 6 speeds, suitable for standard home networking requirements. The Deco X50 offers AEX 3000 dual band Wi-Fi 6 speeds, providing enhanced performance for bandwidth intensive tasks. Decisions factors. Choose Archer NX200 if you prefer web-based management. You require separate SSIDs for different frequency bands. 
you are looking to expand your network with easy mesh compatible devices. Choose Deco X55G if you are seeking a comprehensive mesh networking solution with seamless integration. You prefer app-based management with a focus on user-friendly features. You require high Wi-Fi speeds and advanced mesh capabilities including Ethernet backhaul support. In the video description, TP-Link playlist, you can see all the videos I have made in the past with more details for both routers. Both of these devices are fantastic options for anyone looking to harness the power of 5G connectivity, but they cater to slightly different needs. The Archer NX200 is a standalone powerhouse, perfect for those who need fast, portable internet on the go or in a single location. On the other hand, the Deco is part of a mesh system, making it ideal for larger spaces where seamless coverage and whole home connectivity are a priority. If you're someone who values portability and simplicity, the Archer NX200 may be your best bet. But if you are looking to cover a large area with consistent speeds and mesh network, the Deco X50 is the way to go. If you found this comparison helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews, networking tips and gadget guides. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, stay connected, stay productive and I'll see you in the next video.